Want to know what's been selling for me over the past three weeks? Make sure and stay tuned. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree. I am an online reseller. I own an online shop selling fashion items on places like Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. If this is something you're into, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the like button. I source items primarily at thrift stores, the Goodwill bins, or garage sales. So I've gone ahead and compiled the information from the past about two and a half weeks of things that have sold for me online. During this period, I did a total of 25 sales. I had 17 sales on Poshmark, four sales on Mercari, and four sales on eBay. I'm gonna go ahead and go through the sales just based on when they sold versus breaking it up by marketplace this time. Let me know. The next piece that sold was a birdie gray Moni dress. This is like a bridesmaid style dress in a sage green. This was a new with tag item. I had listed this one back in September last year of 2022. Um, I kind of already knew this wasn't going to sell until maybe spring or summer just because it's bridesmaid and wedding season coming up. So um, I had recently delisted and relisted the item using Bendu and I had listed it for $65. I received an offer for $52 and I did go ahead and accept that offer. That one was sold on Mercari. The next item I sold was, it. the brand was called Lil Hickory, like Little <laughs> Hickory. Um, it was a, a railroad striped pullover shirt in the size 3T. This was actually something my daughter had been given when she was younger, she wore it and uh, then I wanted to go ahead and move it along. So um, that was cost of goods zero for me. And that item sold for $15 on Poshmark. The next item that sold was also on Mercari. This was in a recent thrift haul of mine. If I can remember which one, I'll go ahead and link it here. It was an American Apparel like a tiered peasant style skirt, super cute. I had recently picked this up at the bins. I did receive an offer for $20 for this skirt. I went ahead and accepted that offer. My cost of goods for this item was $1.66. So after fees were taken out, I was still left with a profit of $15.26. The next item that sold was this Metallica Dream USA Definitely a vintage graphic tee. It had Master of Puppets on it. The cool thing about this shirt is my dad actually found this shirt on the side of the road <laughs> last year, I believe, and he gave me these random graphic tees, which I believe everyone has sold at this point. But this was right at the hype of, if you watch Stranger Things, Metallica and Mu uh, Master of Puppets was getting really big around that time. So I was really excited to list this shirt. Um, I had originally listed it for $55. I had seen some on eBay going like almost to like the $100 range, but I decided to go ahead and just play it cool on this one. Um, it had been sitting for quite some time, but I did receive an offer for $30. So cost of goods for that one was zero. Um, and after fees were taken out, I was left with a profit of $24. The next two items that sold were on Poshmark as well. These were sold in a bundle. Um, these were two graphic t-shirts that um, one was actually mine that I purchased back in 2008. Um, and the next one was a Ben's item that I had purchased probably a year to two years ago. So um, I had listed both these items. One was listed at $20, one was listed at 15. Um, I had sent out offers multiple times and really didn't have any takers on these items. The first one was the Fun 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 Fest. Um, I actually went to the Fun 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 Fest in 2008 and had this shirt like screen printed at the festival. I believe that was the first year of the festival in Austin, Texas. I think it was at Waterloo Park. Um, it was so cool, but this shirt just, I had, it didn't fit me anymore. I loved the shirt. It had all the, the bands on the back that played during that festival but I was happy to see it go to someone who um, wanted it and hopefully appreciate it. So this gal purchased the Fun 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 Fest and the Tea Republic You Are My Butter half t-shirt. I actually picked this one up because it did remind me of a phrase um, and some 
stuff I have from Austin. So I ended up selling that bundle for $12. She gave me a really, sent me a really nice love note saying that she loved the shirt. So I was very happy to see those go to a new home. The next item that sold was actually from my personal closet, also sold on Poshmark. This was a pair of Old Navy maternity um, jeans. They were the Rockstar full panel jean. I wore these when I was pregnant. Um, so I had these listed in my closet for quite some time. I received an offer for $6 for these. My cost of goods was zero as they were from my own closet. And so I did get left with a profit of $3.05 for those. The next sale was on eBay. Um, this was a pair of Saludos French Bulldog canvas slip-on espadrille shoes. Super cute, um, pretty much new without tag shoes. I had these listed originally at $65. I had sent out offers to kind of clear some things out and received a counter offer for $30. Um, so I went ahead and accepted that offer. The next item that sold was on Poshmark. I had picked this item up from a thrift store last year. I really loved it though when I picked it up. It's this holographic metallic kind of purse with a chain strap, no tags, gave me that whole like Y2K feel. So I did feel like somebody would appreciate this. I received an offer for $12 for this item and I went ahead and accepted that offer. The next item that sold was a cabbie piece, just like a sheath cap sleeve dress. Um, this one was originally listed in the $35 range. I sent out an offer to Likers um, for $20, $21 with a $1.72 discount and that was purchased. So that left me with a profit of $15.08. The next piece that sold was, was on Poshmark. It was a pair of Beyond Yoga jogger leggings. Um, great condition, although the logo on the back was a little bit faded and cracked. Other than that, they were great, great jogger pants. Um, I sent out offers to Likers on this item and ended up having someone accept the offer of $26 with a $1.72 discount. So that left me with a profit of $19.08. The next item that sold was by the brand INC or in an International Concepts. Um, this was this snake skin, it had this beading on the neckline, really beautiful short sleeve kind of sweater material. I had received this through an estate sale liquidation last year, so this, the cost of goods was zero for me. I had received an offer on eBay for $17 and I went ahead and accepted that offer. The next item that sold was by the brand Briggs and Riley. Um, if you're not familiar with this brand, you should maybe just kind of keep an eye out for it. I found this at the bins last year, paid about 97 cents for it roughly. Um, I am guilty of having it sit in my live photograph area for six months at least before I listed it. I knew it was gonna be worth something. I just really never got around to listing the item. So I did list it and ended up selling this item within about, I think it was three days. When I checked this item, the comps were a little bit all over the place. The low end of $50 all the way up to like $120. So I really wasn't sure exactly where to place it. I went ahead and listed the item at $100, knowing that I was probably going to need to send out some discounts to be able to get it sold. Within three days of listing this item, I received an offer for $65. So I went ahead and accepted that offer. Um, after fees were taken out and my cost of goods, I was left with a profit of $51 on that item. The next item that sold was a White House Black Market. This just basic ruffle kind of sleeve v-neck top. Um, really nice teal color. I listed this item December 18th of 2022 and it sold within two months. Um, it sold on Mercari for $18. My cost of goods for this item was $1.06. So after fees and cost of goods, taken out, I received a profit of $14.12. The next item that sold was from my more recent thrift haul as well. This was a, a brand that was new to me. I think you say Kavu, Kavu. I'm not really sure, but this was the Sydney Satchel crossbody bag. Um, I, when I looked, looked up comps, there were a lot of the bags, but not necessarily black. 
I saw maybe like one or two that had been sold that were black. I had listed this item at $45 and I had paid 95 cents for this bag. I had listed this item on February 21st and I received an offer on February 24th for $25. So I went ahead and accepted that offer. That left me with a profit of $19.05. The next item that sold was actually from my personal closet. Um, this was a pair of Lululemon Wonder Under reversible leggings. One side was kind of this fuchsia purple, the other side was black. I, fun fact, had purchased these off Poshmark probably about three years ago. It was one of my first purchases when I was starting reselling, mostly just to buy some for myself. So I wore them for a little while and then decided I was gonna go ahead and move them along. I had listed these probably in the $35 range. I sent out an offer um, through Offers to Likers um, for $27 with a $2.02 discount on shipping. And after marketplace fees, the profit for that item was $19.58. The next item that sold was in my, again, in my more recent haul. Um, it was this North Face pullover hoodie, gray and teal. It was really cute, um, just kind of simple colors. I really liked it. I um, wanted to keep it for myself, but decided not to. This was also a sale on Poshmark. It was listed for $30. I received a $27 offer and went ahead and accepted that. So my cost of goods for this one was 78 cents. So that left me with a profit of $20.82. The next item that sold was a recent Ben's find as well. This one was listed on February 21st. It sold on March 2nd. Um, for I received an offer for $15 on this item. My cost of goods was originally 95 cents for this sweater and I received an offer for $15 and I went ahead and accepted that. All right, that gave me a profit of $11.05. The next item that sold was a Jones New York collection blazer. This was on eBay. I have had this blazer for no joke, at least two years. I found this um, a good while ago. It had a tag on it that showed for retail $219. So I did have this listed a little bit higher. I had like no interest in this blazer at all. So someone had given me, uh, she actually had reached out to me a couple times through eBay, um, just verifying the color, verifying the fit. Um, so after a little while, she did send me an offer for $10 and I went ahead and accepted it. I wanted to just kind of get it moving and hopefully she really loves that jacket. So I found this item at the bin, so I did pay a dollar for it. Um, so that left me with a profit of $9 for this item. The next item that sold was a Hydro Flask 24 ounce standard flex straw cap water bottle. <laughs> funny story about this water bottle is when I had some family come into town, they got a rental car and as they were getting their things out, they noticed that there was this bottle in there, brand new, still had the sticker on it. You could tell it had never been used really. So I went ahead and said, Hey, let's try to sell it. Um, I had listed this item for, I believe $25. And I listed this on February 17th. On March 3rd, I had sent out offers to Likers and it sold for $22 with a $2.02 discount um, for shipping. So after marketplace fees, I was left with a profit of $15.58. Cost of goods, zero. The next piece that sold was an Ann Klein, this cream like beige blazer pantsuit. This was also part of the estate sale liquidation that I had received. So this was also um, no cost to me for cost of goods. I had this listed for $65, I believe. This one actually went out um, on Offers to Likers through Poshmark and it sold for $53, $2.02 discount. So that left me after marketplace fees with a profit of $40.38. The next item that sold was also on Poshmark and another Anne Klein item. This was the Anne Klein Mafiona Peep Toe Heel, really beautiful, like tan color. 
Um, these had been listed for quite some time. I wasn't getting any traction on them. I think I originally listed them in August of 2022. I received an offer um, for $8 and I went ahead and accepted that offer just to again move things out. I am not really this year wanting to be holding on to things for too long. I'm really trying to get things moving within that first, you know, one to two months, hopefully. The next item that sold was these really beautiful rhinestone Steve Madden jewel slip on sandals. These sold on Mercari. I had these listed originally at $50. I received an offer for $38 on these and aftermarket place fees and cost of goods. It came out with a profit of $19.98. The next item, two items from a that liquidation from the estate sale. This I decided it was these Soma, uh, the essential crop leggings. I had a pair of burgundy and a pair of black. So I went ahead and just put them together. They were the same size, extra large, and sold them as a bundle. These listed for $50 and someone bought them full price on eBay for $50. So that was great. Pro cost of goods was again, zero. The last sale I had actually came in this morning. I had done a little bit of listing early this morning and this item was a Carhartt burgundy pullover, just a long sleeve sweatshirt. I had it listed for 25. Someone came in and bought it full price, no questions asked. And that was probably within three hours of listing. So I would say fantastic sale. I love that whenever I have a sell, a item sell within a few hours, I know like, okay, yeah, this is something I want to keep looking for. So I love Carhartt. Carhartt is a great brand and there are a lot of items that people are really looking for when it comes to like Carhartt pieces. So keep your eye out for that. I do think it's a great find and I do find a lot at the bins often. I have even sold Carhartt pants that have like bleach stains on them that have like small rips. They are work wear. So I think people are a little bit more like okay with it having some stains or like some oil, whatever, because they're likely going to be wearing it out in the garage anyway. There are a lot of pieces now that people are wearing you know as far as beanies and vests the vests are really popular um but anytime i've also sold a carhartt sweatshirt that um had the like bleach stain and it had a logo embroidered into it and i still sold that within like two weeks so i would say definitely keep your eye out for carhartt Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you enjoy reseller content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.